Good morning. 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 Good morning.
to apologize. I don't look at apologies as a sign of weakness. I actually think of it as a sign of strength. All right. So if I get it wrong, I will apologize. But to be quite honest, I just haven't gotten it wrong lately. I don't know why it is. I don't know why that's how the cookie crumbles, but it's just the way it is. All right. And then the last and the final H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am and will always remain the most handsome. <laughs> All right, listen, uh, yes, I am still on my backup. My backup probably won't be back up until, I think, Wednesday. But So we're going to have to ride it out on, the, on this account, all right? My main account won't be back until uh, next week, all right? And so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight down to business. Brass tax, let's, let's, show, let's tell these people exactly what we're here to do. Uh, many of you are familiar with what we do on this side of TikTok, on this side of town. We hold our friends on the right, especially their leader, Donald J. Trump, accountable for their dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds, as well as their crimes, all right? And believe you me, there's a lot of crimes going on on the MAGA right, all right? Uh, and so I got a bit of a heads up. If you're one of these folks um, that are allergic to facts, right, as my good friend brother Swerve and likes to say, you're factose intolerant, all right? I'm going to give you a heads up. This live is going to be very uncomfortable for you because there's a, there's a lot of truth being cooked up, all right? And it's specially cooked up just for you, all right? I'm talking about MAGA, you you MAGA demons, your traitors and, and stuff like that, right? So if you don't want to experience, um, you know, any of the side effects from being factose intolerant, right? For instance, if you're hungry, you won't be so hungry, right? If you're if you're happy, you're going to feel a little depressed. If you don't want to experience any of that, you might want to leave this live because it's about to get very uncomfortable for you, all right? And I, and I really do mean it, all right? But guess what? I know you don't believe me because <laughs> you never do. And so I always say it like this. You don't got to take my word for it. Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, mm -hmm. If you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Right. Now, now that we've taken care of that business, let's get straight down to what matters. All right. Um, I'm going to start the show off. All right. We already know today uh, it's going to be a good day for politics, especially democracy, because Joe Biden will be giving his State of the Union. All right. But before we get into that, uh, let's take care of this MAGA business. Trump, Trump's conquest of the Republican Party, uh, it matters to every American. This is a good opinion piece, and I felt it is appropriate to share it out with all of you. All right. And listen up, MAGA, before you get to spam into my chat. Do me a huge favor, MAGA. Don't put FJB in the chat. I'm trying to be very nice today, all right? Normally, I have the gloves off, but I'm trying to be a little... Actually, the gloves are still off. <laughs> um, I need you Trump supporters out there, you seditionist, treasonous traitors, to do me a huge favor. Don't type another thing in my comment or chat, all right? Just sit your special behind... Bam! Thank you so much. Gloves are off, right? Just sit your special behinds down... And listen to this special broadcast. You just might learn something. Stay out of those lives with those fake TikTok hosts. You know who they are. The snuggles out there. Those fake TikTok lawyers. By the way, I saw Mother of Nastiness yesterday. I didn't get to see all of it. But from what I saw with Mother of Nastiness, one thing was crystal clear. Number one. Was always a loser. You know, born a loser, still a loser, right? Please practice reading the information that I am sharing instead of being jealous and insecure, all right? I know it's hard. I know what they do is they come into my live and they go, oh, Zeus is just putting up headlines. I'm smarter than Zeus. And then they go out there and they get hit by a bus, right? <laughs> I was so... I, 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 I've never laughed so much in my life. I was chuckling watching Mother of Nastiness get steamrolled over and over. I've never seen a bus run somebody over. They put it in reverse. They back. I mean, it was so hilarious, ladies and gentlemen. Mother of Nastiness. Stop listening to Snuggles. Snuggles... Listen, Snuggles has a PhD at uh, Trump University, all right? And when you go to Trump University, you're going to come out 
more ridiculous, more unhinged, and more deranged than you went in, all right? And so listen, to all you folks out there in TikTok, stay out of the lives of folks like Snuggles and Mother of Nastiness, who else is out there? Uh, the Russian Bears, these folks, Stacy Bear, uh, Janae Bear, these folks don't know nothing, all right? All right! <clears throat> All right, and good job, RTP. Seriously, thank you for doing the Lord's work yesterday. Steamrolling that MAGA demon, all right? Now, let's move it along. Uh, with Donald Trump's victories on Tuesday, he has moved to the cusp of securing 1,215 delegates necessary to win the Republicans uh, Republican Party's presidential nomination. The rest is formality. The party has become... Boom! Thank you so much for those. Listen, the gloves are off. The party has become a vessel for the fulfillment of Mr. Trump's ambitions and will almost certainly be its standard bearer for the third time. This is a tragedy for the Republican Party and for the country it purports to serve. In a healthy democracy, political parties or organizations devoted to electing politicians who share a set of values and policy goals, all right, Bam! Thank you, Zena. They operate party. They operate part of the machinery of politics, working with elected officials and civil servants to make elections happen. Members air their differences within the party to strengthen and sharpen its position. In America's two-party democracy, Republicans and Democrats have regularly traded places in the White House and shared power in Congress in a system that has been stable for more than a century. The Republican Party is forsaking all of those responsibilities and instead has become an organization whose goal is the election of one person at the expense of anything else, including integrity, principle, policy, and patriotism. This is sick stuff, ladies and gentlemen. As an individual, Mr. Donald Trump, Defendant Trump, Adjudicated grapist Donald Trump has demonstrated, hold on, I can't do any battles, has demonstrated a contempt for the Constitution and the rule of law that makes him unfit to hold office. But when an entire political party, particularly one of the two main parties in a country as powerful as the United States, turns into an instrument of that person and his most dangerous ideas, the damage affects everyone. This is why we they get on here and they say, Zeus, you have Trump derangement syndrome. No, I don't. I'm sounding the alarm for millions of Americans, millions of people, all billions of people all across the world. Donald Trump is the most dangerous individual on the face of this earth, if you ask me, for, for a lot of different reasons. And we'll get into that later. Mr. Trump's ability to solidify control over the Republican Party to quickly defeat his challengers for the nomination owes partly to the fervor of a bedrock of supporters who we all know are in a cult who have delivered substantial victories for him in nearly every primary contest so far. Perhaps his most important advantage, however, is that there are a few remaining leaders in Republican Party who seem willing to stand up for an alternative vision of the party's future. Those who continue to openly oppose him are overwhelmingly those who have left office. Some have said they feared, this is the sick part, they fear speaking out because they face threats of violence and retribution. You know, this is some sick stuff. I got folks out there, you know this guy Trash Bay, now he calls himself Democrat Destroyer. He goes around and he, he takes screenshots of Zeus and he uses them as his profile picture because he's trying to get women. This I mean, this, this, these folks are sick. We got guys like conservative Democrat or his so-called brother, Retribution. They're out here terrorizing the United States of America on behalf of Donald Trump. These are some sick, sick and twisted people. In a traditional presidential primary contest, victory signals a Democratic mandate in which the winner enjoys popular legitimacy conferred by the party's voters, but also accepts its defeated rivals and their competing views as a place within the party. Mr. Trump, he no longer does, having used the primary contest as a tool for purging the party's dissent. The Republican candidates who have dropped out of the race have either had to demonstrate their devotion to him or risk being shunned. His last rival, Nikki Haley, 
is a Republican leader with a conservative track record going back decades who served Mr. Trump's cabinet in the first term. He has now cast her out. Quote, she's essentially a Democrat. Donald Trump has managed to turn Nikki Haley into a Democrat. The former president said the day before her loss in South Carolina, I think she should probably switch parties. Now, I can't go any further, ladies and gentlemen. You're more than welcome to continue this, but in the interest of time, I must move on. But this is some sick stuff, and this is why I need you all to come together with me, all right, and help me out with this. Please get the tomatoes out, all right? Please get the blueberries out. All right, and join me this bright and early, all right, in giving Donald Trump and his legion of demonic, deranged supporters what they rightfully deserve this morning. Our first honorable round of booze and shame. <laughs> Silence, you MAGA demons. Shame on you. But you know what? What the devil meant for evil, God, I believe, will turn to good. So you know what, Nikki Haley? You know what? Go ahead and become a Democrat. Join the likes of others who have left a Republican Party, like Liz Cheney. We all know what she's going to do, right? And all of them who have said, you know what? I do believe in putting country first over a criminal like Donald Trump. These Trump supporters, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, these are some sick and twisted individuals. All right. Now, I'm going to I'm going to move on to some real serious stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to go into a nasty live with, you know, my 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 friend Snuggles. You know who Snuggles is, right? Snuggle Bubbles. Struggle pancakes. Remember this guy? Struggle honey buns. Struggle in the way. Yeah. He's a struggler. Yeah. Yeah. Snuggles the struggler. The biggest struggler. The biggest fraud on TikTok. This guy graduated Trump University. Got a degree. What did he get his degree in, ladies and gentlemen? It looks like he may have gotten it in federal banking violations, possibly embezzlement, maybe even sex crimes. This guy is bad news. Stay out of the Snuggles' lives, ladies and gentlemen. I'm warning you. This guy is, he's not wrapped too tight. He is drunk the Kool-Aid. He sold his he sold his house. He sold his mom's house to be with Donald Trump. This guy is sick, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and I want to say this to you, Trump supporters. I want you to understand why Donald Trump is going to be convicted in New York, all right? He goes to trial on March 25th, all right? And there seems to be some confusion. You know, Snuggles likes to say, it was his lawyer. It wasn't Trump. And and then when I pressed Snuggles for the facts, you know what he did? He dropped me. He did. He dropped me. Because they don't care about facts. Right? I know, I know, I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Okay. So, uh, Snuggles, I want you and your your friends to let's unpack this, all right? Trump is being charged in the state of New York Supreme Court with 34 counts of falsifying bus business records in the first degree. The people of the state of New York alleged that Donald Trump repeatedly and fraudulently falsified business records to conceal crimes that hid damaging information from the voting public during the 2016 presidential election all right and this is what alvin bragg says all right manhattan is the home Ma <clears throat> manhattan is home to the country's most significant business markets and we cannot allow new york businesses to manipulate their records to cover up criminal conduct according to court documents and statements made on the record Do um from august of 2015 to december of 2017 donald trump orchestrated his catch and kill scheme through a series of payments that he concealed through months of false business entries do you see this snuggles all right look at this ladies and gentlemen this is this you want to talk about the trump the, they say biden crime family absolutely not this right here ladies and gentlemen is a visual of the trump crime family 
All right. So when and, and I'm sorry, I have to bring the illustration. I had to get the crayons and the coloring books out for you traders, because I know words throw your brain into a, a, state, a state of shock. All right. All right. According uh, in one instance, AMI America Media Inc. paid thirty thousand dollars to a former Trump Tower doorman who claimed to have a story about a child Trump had out of wedlock. So that's thirty thousand dollars. What's your defense to that, Snuggles? You don't got one. In a second instance, AMI paid one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Wow. $150,000, sheesh, to a woman who alleged she had a sexual relationship with Trump when Trump explicitly directed a lawyer who then worked for the Trump organization as Trump's special counsel to reimburse AMI in cash. Isn't it funny how they out here trying to get on Fonnie Willis? Isn't it funny how you trying to get on Fonnie Willis? Where did she get her money from? Oh, you're, you're Inspector, Inspector Gadget. Funny, show us every crying dime. But but you can't explain none of this $130,000 or these $30,000 payment snuggles. All right? So they use cash to reimburse AMI. All right? The special counsel, this is Michael Cohen, indicated to Trump that the payment should be made via a shell company and not by cash. AMI ultimately declined to accept the reimbursement after consulting their counsel. AMI, which later admitted its conduct was unlawful in an, in an agreement with federal prosecutors, made false business entries in its business records concerning the true purpose of the $150,000 payment. So that's two instances, right? But you know, when you're part of the Trump crime family, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. When you're part of the Trump crime family, you don't just stop at one instance. You don't just stop at two instances. Why not just put the pedal to the floor and hit the gas, right? In a third instance, <clears throat> and this is the most sickening of them all. I mean, they're all sick, but this is the one. Twelve days before the presidential general election, Michael Cohen wired $130,000 to an attorney for an adult film star, actress Stormy Daniels. Michael Cohen, who has since pled guilty and served time in prison for making illegal campaign contributions, made the payment through a shell corporation funded through a bank in Manhattan. All right, wait, turn off Cohen. Can I, I want to turn off this co-host. Okay, yeah. Okay. After winning the election, guess what Donald Trump did? He reimbursed Michael Cohen through a series of monthly checks, first from the Donald Trump Revocable Trust, created in, in New York to hold the Trump Organization's assets during Trump's presidency, and later from Trump's bank account. Mm, mm, mm. In total, 11 checks were issued for a phony business purpose, all right? Nine of those checks were signed by Donald Trump himself. Each check was processed by the Trump Organization and illegally disguised as payments for legal services rendered pursuant to a non-existent retainer agreement. In total, 34 false entries were made in New York's business records to conceal the initial covert $130,000 payment. Further, participants in the scheme took steps that mischaracterized for tax purposes the true nature of the reimbursement. Can anyone say, can you can, can you all join me? Can we do something? Can we all put guilty in the chat? Can you please put guilty in the chat? Because I want the Trump supporters, the traitors to understand this. Can you please spam the chat with the word guilty? All right, because that's what this is, right? Isn't this being guilty? Right, this is, this, can we, get guilty, guilty? Thank you, thank you, Grammy G. Yeah, you see this MAGA, you see all these folks putting guilty in there? That's because it's crystal clear. Thank you, thank you all for putting guilty out there because I don't want them to run out of this live and say, no, 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 you see it right here for yourself. So guess what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen? We're going to have to give Donald Trump and his entire Trump organization from his CFO to his children and to the individuals who are all part of this catch and kill scheme, as a matter of fact, and especially for you, Snuggles, join me in giving these seditionist treasonous traitors what they deserve. Another round of booze and shame. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Silence. You never did. 
I refuse to have any kind of debate about this crime right here. If you can't come, if you believe you can actually defend this, don't spend your time on TikTok snuggles. Fly your special behind to New York and join Trump's legal team, all right? And you get in there, and I guarantee you, you'll get steamrolled like someone we just saw get steamrolled, right, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> and by the way, I told you folks I was dangerous, right? If you don't like this broadcast, it's too much for you, it's making your MAGA mind explode, do me a huge favor, leave. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. I could care less if you're sitting at home angry at Zeus. Because you know there's a traitor out there sitting at home, whatever his name is. Whatever her, whatever her name is, they're sitting at home and they're very angry and upset with Zeus because I've just blown all of their lies right out of the box. You can't go around and say you didn't hear this information. It's in your mind now. <laughs> you see how I did that? See, you thought you were going to come here and show me something, but I just showed you something. And I just showed you how much you don't know. And that's why I tell you traders, don't type another thing in my comment section. Sit your special behinds down and listen to this special broadcast. You really might learn something from Zeus. <laughs> all right. I've been doing this for quite a while. All right. There's a reason I'm where I'm at and, where, and you're where you're at. Trust me. All right. Now let's move it along. Clear path to Donald Trump losing. <laughs> and, and, I'm, and I want to make sure you Trump supporters understand why I'm saying this to you. Donald Trump's not going to win. He's not. All right. He's not winning in the, you know, because there's. There's this court of public opinion, and I think that's where a lot of you dwell. But haven't you noticed every time Donald Trump enters the courtroom, he loses? And I, and I want you to let that sink in for a second, MAGA. He's not going to win in any of these court cases. And when it's time to go and cast our votes, he's not going to win again. Because guess what the election's going to be? The election's going to be too big to rig. <laughs> gotta stop making myself laugh okay i know i'm scaring listen i'm scaring these trump supporters right now they probably pooping on themselves they <laughs> throwing the phone and whatever but you know what that's fine donald trump may have won the primary and have gotten the positive press that comes with such a victory but his niece mary trump is suggesting that the media missed some bad news for the for the former president trump will officially be the leader of his party going into 2024 but exit poll data that went under the radar shows ex-president will have a tough time in the general election according to psychologist mary trump mary trump has in the past spoken about her uncle's perceived vulner vulnerabilities quote donald will inevitably cinch the republican nomination but the media ignored exit data that showed a clear path to donald losing in 2024 <clears throat> It's game on, Mary Trump wrote. Mary Trump said that watching her uncle emerge victorious was, quote, horrifying, but that she saw some light at the end of the tunnel. Quote, the idea that Donald could win a single vote, let alone an election, is almost too much to bear. However, the exit data shows something promising. How weak Donald will be in the general. Quote, when I hear some Republican voters are actually saying, I feel I feel hope, not because we know anything with certainty, but because a path to defeat Donald is clearly emerging. All right. They're saying a path to defeat Donald Trump is clearly emerging. All right. According to Mary Trump, the part of the inspiring data was based on Nikki Haley having accomplished something very important. Quote. She helped to cultivate a significant and growing electorate. Never Trump Republicans. Let's say it again. Never Trump Republicans. Thank you, Nikki Haley. All right. Adding that the key for defeating Trump is finding and convincing Republicans who previously voted for Donald but are now waking up. Quote, one of the reasons we know this is a real possibility is because these voters are engaged. All right. All right. Regarding the troublesome exit polls, Mary Trump pointed to a warning signs. 
Consider CNN's exit poll data, which they say are a warning sign for Donald in the general election. A significant 66% of Haley voters said that Donald is not physically or mentally fit to be president. And the vast majority, 81% of Haley voters said that they are not an automatic vote for Donald Trump. All right. In Virginia, a plurality of Haley voters said that they approve of the job Joe Biden is doing as president. In North Carolina, the number was 50%. Haley voters have much more in common with Joe Biden voters. Right? So guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Guess what we're going to do? We're going to get those boos and those shames out, all right? Because, ladies and gentlemen, despite what these polls are saying... It's crystal clear to millions of people in this country that Donald Trump will not win the general election. All right. So guess what we're going to do? Join me in giving this loser what he deserves. Another round of booze and shame. Oh, yeah. I mean, seriously. Are we really surprised by this information? I mean, I just want to get this out here because I want you seditionist, treasonous traitors, you thugs, to really understand the election this time is going to be too big to rig. Joe Biden and the Democrats, uh, it's going to, we're going to blow your socks off. And I don't want you crying, all right? And you know they're going to be crying today, ladies and gentlemen. Bam! Thank you, Jess. Yes, the gloves are off. All right. And so with that being said, let's move on to uh, one of the MAGA mascots. All right. This, this, Lauren Boebert. She's definitely, definitely one of the MAGA mascots. All right. She just always seems to find herself in some mess. And it's getting sickening. Right. It's getting sickening. It's getting disgusting. Miss Lauren Boebert. Lauren Boebert. <clears throat> my son breaks into cars. Boebert didn't get her way again. So now she wants she wants revenge. All right. Lauren Boebert, America's favorite musical theater hand jobber and mother of a serial car thief, a MAGA demon. She's literally raising a MAGA demon is up to her idiotic and petty antics again. The Colorado representative wants to strike back at the state official who got former President Donald Trump removed from the ballot. Do you hear what I'm saying, mother of nastiness? He was removed from the ballot. <laughs> this is why you keep getting steamrolled. After the Supreme Court un uh, unanimously reversed the decision. Boebert is out for blood and wants Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Ellis Griswold out of the office pronto. She fired her first shots yesterday on X, quote, you have no business in the Secretary of State's office and shouldn't oversee an election in which you have shown a clear bias. She says, quote, you're unfit. Time for you to be recalled. This is what Lauren Boebert is saying to Miss Griswold because she took Donald Trump off the ballot. Lauren Boebert is saying this, <clears throat> quote, apparently doing your job and standing up for what you believe in makes you unfit for office. But getting felt up and fondling a man's nasty regions in a theater is just is just par for the course. Mm. Oh, and calling immigrants criminals is fine too. Even though her son Tyler is facing multiple felony charges for allegedly breaking into multiple cars, stealing money from someone with with the, with the tumor in their brain. You see where Miss Bobert's priorities are? They're they're in the wrong spot. It seems that values to Bobert just apl just applies to when it doesn't involve her. Griswold, by the way, said that she was quote disappointed with the decision. Quote: We believe that states like Colorado and states across the nation have the authority to disqualify oath-breaking insurrectionists from our ballots. The Supreme Court decided otherwise. Donald Trump is on the Colorado ballot and votes for him in Super Tuesday election will be counted. <clears throat> that concession, ladies and gentlemen, from Miss Griswold, that concession, it wasn't enough for the handsy Lauren Boebert. She fired off a letter on X saying that the people of Colorado have zero faith in Griswold's ability to adequately protect their right to vote and oversee elections. What? Does that mean that the, quote, people of Colorado have more faith in Lauren Boebert? 
even though she didn't graduate from high school and didn't get a GED until 2020, even though she's been arrested multiple times, even though she's on the record using slurs against other politicians and actively promotes conspiracy theories, even though she has the IQ of a cardboard box. This is some sick stuff, ladies and gentlemen. This is some sick stuff. This is worse than the than the pot calling the kettle black. All right, I don't even know what to call this, but it's sickening. So guess what we got to do, right, April? You, th you know what we got to do? Because I can't dwell on Lauren Boebert and her sick situation that she's in because I'm not a professional therapist. But I'll say this. Lauren Boebert, resign immediately. Seek professional help and take care of your family, all right? You know what the good book says. How dare you? Try to take a splinter out of somebody else's eye when you got these big old two by four sitting in your eyes. Lauren Boebert, you need to sit your special behind down. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Miss Hansy Beetlejuice Boebert what she deserves. All right. Because between her and her son, that and actually her entire family, that MAGA demon is doing quite the number in terms of making these folks look ridiculous to the American people. I don't want you to do what, stay off of social media too, Lauren Bober. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give her what she deserves, another round of booze and shame. Oh, these are some sick individuals. They don't like me. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of people on this app. All right. You know why they don't like me? Because look at this. Look at this. Look at that. You see that? No strings attached. I am not a hand puppet. See, I can get out here and keep it A1 and tell you the truth and go on about my day because guess what? Ain't nobody controlling Zeus. I do exactly what I came to do. I get in here and I hit it out the park and I go on. If you don't like the truth, you know what I say? You can leave. All right, didn't I play it at the top of the show for all of you out there with the dissension? If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country. And a lot of you and a lot of you do hate our country. Let's just keep it A1, all right? So so I would rather tell the truth. Let me be straight up with you. And this goes to you, Snuggles. J Bear, seditionist, treasonous, all of you. Thank you, Miss Morningstar. I'd rather tell the truth and be realer than you. All right? Because I already know they don't like it when you're telling the truth. But I'd rather do that and be realer than you than to be sitting in a jail cell on behalf of Donald Trump. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Anyone with an IQ knows if you're going to go into jail, you should go to jail for crimes you commit. Don't let somebody set you up to do it. But you should... Y'all, y'all something else out there. I really don't get it. All right, now let's move it along. We got a couple of more, one more topic, well, a couple more topics, and then I'm going to open up the boxes, all right? Like I said, this is going to be a quick show, all right? <clears throat> As if we haven't already heard enough bad news from MAGA, uh, this came across my desk as well. An ex-congressional candidate endorsed by, guess who, the biggest criminal in the United States history, Donald Trump, was arrested on some unaliving charges. Wow, this is this this is a serious story, ladies and gentlemen. Um, a failed GOP congressional candidate who was once endorsed by Donald Trump was arrested for unaliving somebody in Nevada this week. See, this is what happens when you're in the MAGA cult. You get the ultimate MAGA reward. And what is the ultimate MAGA reward, everyone? Let's say it together. Jail, right? And if you don't get your soul right, hell, that's guaranteed for all of you MAGA demons. And there's a pit stop in the middle called Chapter 11. I've been saying this for quite a while. Anybody that's in the MAGA cult, you're on your way to prison and hell. And you're going broke on the way. Guaranteed. 100% guaranteed or your money back. Right? <laughs> That actually should be a commercial. It really should be. All right. So according to sources, Dan Rodemir, a former WWE wrestler and failed 2020 GOP congressional candidate, was allegedly involved in an October 2023 uh, unaliving of a man inside of a Las Vegas hotel room. <clears throat> I mean, this is some sick stuff. And look at him getting uh, getting the endorsement. Look at him right there. That's Don 
You know, when Donald Trump stands next to you and put those thumbs up, you know what that means. <laughs> Go ahead and give him the ultimate MAGA reward. That's what that means, right? <clears throat> and this was from March 31st of 2021. According to the news, police issued a warrant for Rodemir's arrest on Wednesday in connection to this unaliving of a 47-year-old Christopher Tapp. Tapp, who had previously spent 20 years in prison on unaliving and graping charges before being released in 2019, was found unalive last year in a hotel room at the Resort World in Las Vegas. Rodemir's lawyers said that the former pro wrestler and failed congressional candidate was voluntarily surrendering to authorities and will post bail, post a court ordered bail shortly after the warrant for his arrest was issued. Quote, he intends on vigorously contesting the allegations and asks that the presumption of innocence guaranteed all Americans be respected. This is what he says in a statement. Police reportedly opened the investigation in Rodemir in November after learning that Tap was unalive following an altercation inside of his hotel room. The Clark County's coroner office ruled Tap's uh, death a homicide because of blunt force trauma to the head. Now, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> this is Donald Trump right there, all right, in October of 2020, endorsing this guy. You see, you, you, you see what I'm talking about, right? This is this is Donald Trump. This is this is what MAGA is all about. Crime, right? We started the show with Donald Trump committing crimes, didn't we? And and we haven't even really let up, right? Everything we do, we cover Lauren Boebert. What we got? Crime. Now we're at Donald Trump and the people he's endorsing. So you always got to ask yourself, why are these people so loyal to Donald Trump? And the answer is crystal clear. Because they themselves are just as guilty as him. Donald Trump got stood dirt on them. And so he uses it to make sure that they stay in line. Oh, if you get out of line, I'm going to release all this information on you, right? And they can't do anything because Donald Trump does have all that information because we know where he gets it from, Russia. So guess what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen? Join me once again in giving Donald Trump and his criminal associates what they deserve this bright and early. All right. Another round of booze and shame. Oh, the Democrats aren't this corrupt. Cut it out. Cut it out. You're more than welcome to go look this information up. Anybody out there that thinks I'm making it up, please go look it up. All right? But don't just sit in my comments and cry. All right? That's why you're in the situation you're in. Because this that position you're in right now is exactly the position Donald Trump likes you. You know what that is? Bent over, right? <laughs> Sorry. Right, Miss Boss Diva. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I gotta. We gotta conclude this special broadcast. But you know, what I mean, the monologue. But you know what we gotta do? We gotta cover another seditionist, treasonous traitor. You know who this is. You know what we do on on this part of the show. Listen, if you don't like this part of the show, like I said, you're more than welcome to leave. All right, but I'm gonna make sure I cover it because I will never ever forget the attack on the United States Capitol that occurred by Donald Trump and his soldiers on his way out of office. All right. So many of you, you know how this goes. Donald Trump is the modern day Confederate, uh, Confederate president, the president of the Confederate. All right. He's the modern day Jefferson Davis. And we know exactly what he did. <clears throat> Attention. This is what he does. This is what he did after he lost to Joe Biden. Attention all cult members. He's talking to his soldiers, right? The Trump supporters are the soldiers for the Confederate. I lost to Joe Biden. I'm very angry about it. And so I need somebody to make me feel good about it. So I need all of you traitors to join me at an event I'm hosting, all right, where there will be a lot of opportunities to commit crimes. I need you all to meet me in Washington, D.C. at an event called Stop the Steal, right? Where I... Your fearless leader will be encouraging you to engage in heinous acts of violence. This is what he said to his, support, to his soldiers. All right. Sell everything that you have. All right. 
sell it all, send me the proceeds, all right? Bring your wives, bring your children. And you know what his soldiers did? They jumped in the back of U-Hauls with those khaki pants on. They put on masks, even though it was the pandemic. And they said they couldn't breathe if they wear a mask. They somehow managed to find masks. I don't know where they got them from. And they all got in the back of these U-Hauls, Patriot Front, Brugaloo Boys, the Proud Boys. And they all somehow managed to end up in Washington, D.C. All right? And this is on January 6th. I remember this. All of us, we watched it on TV. Donald Trump gets them to meet him at the battlefield, which is the ellipse. And, and at the ellipse, what did he do? He instructed his soldiers to begin the attack. Now it is up to Congress to confront this egregious assault on our democracy. And after this, we're going to walk down, and I'll be there with you. We're going to walk down. We're going to walk down. Anyone you want, but I think right here we're going to walk down to the Capitol and we're going to cheer on our brave senators and congressmen and women and we're probably not going to be cheering so much for some of them because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. Hmm. You hear what he said? And you could hear his soldiers in the background cheering him when he made this speech. So they all decided to march in unison to the Capitol where they had gallows, right? Because they were do they were ready to do something very nasty to our vice president at the time, Mike Pence. They were ready to take him out the game. All right. And they marched there demanding, where's Antifa? If you go watch some of the videos. No Antifa, we are MAGA. That's what they were shouting. We are MAGA. You know, so they get to the Capitol. And I'll never forget this moment. They ran into an individual, a fellow patriot. Fatriot is what I'm going to call him. Ray Epps. And they begin to accuse Ray Epps of being feds. Remember this? Feds, feds, feds. Ray Epps, no, I'm not feds. But you guys need to get in that building and do some crime. Feds, feds, feds. And so... Then all of a sudden, I started to think to myself, so if you think the FBI is there, you MAGA demons, you seditionist, treasonous traitors, if you think the FBI was there and you really believed it, why did you commit the crime? Knowing the cops were there at the crime scene. And I've never gotten them to give me an answer about it. But I'm going to tell you why you did it. Because you thought you could get away with it. You thought they, you didn't, you thought the power to enforce the rule of law was in your hands because you read the first, you read a couple of sentences in the Constitution, perhaps. Is that what it was? Or or maybe it's simpler than that. Maybe you just believe Donald Trump, right? So these individuals, these soldiers of Donald Trump's, they begin to commit all kinds of crimes at the United States Capitol. All right. And we all saw it on national television. To them, it was a peaceful protest. This is They call it a peaceful protest. All right? So now that we're at the crime scene, and by the way, Donald Trump, he promised them. He said, and we're going to march to the Capitol, and I'll be right there with you. Donald Trump never went with them. He got back into his limo with Secret Service, and he took a beeline straight to the White House. Turned on the TV, grabbed a Diet Coke, you know, he popped the top on that, and he watched this all happening. He watched the crimes happening on the Capitol. So, and his supporters know that I'm not lying, because Donald Trump never set one foot on the Capitol that day, even though he told you he would. Listen. Now it is up listen, to Congress listen to, to it. confront this egregious assault on our democracy. Listen to him. And after this, we're going to walk down and I'll be there with you. <laughs> <laughs> wow and i'll be right there with you yeah add that to the list of things he said you know the peacefully he said peacefully <laughs> he played you all like a fiddle and y'all don't get it and y'all still defending this man even four years later while y'all sitting in a jail cell y'all really are something special so now that we're at the crime scene ladies and gentlemen let's talk about what one of his insurrectionists did one of his soldiers did 
A colonel clad Capitol Rider dubbed Conan O Riot. <laughs> First we get the QAnon Shaw man. Now we get Conan O Riot. These characters. These just this, this is straight out of a movie <laughs> somewhere. All right, because of his resemblance to former late night talk show host Conan O'Brien, pled guilty to a January 6th charge on Tuesday. Derek deranged seditionist treasonous Nelson. 30, a former Marine, a former Marine, was arrested in Illinois in October for more than two years after he was identified by online sedition hunters who have aided the FBI in cases against hundreds of defendants. Nelson pled guilty to a count of entering and remaining in a restricted building, which carries a maximum sentence of one year in prison. All right. Uh, U.S. District Judge Carl J. Nichols accepted Nelson's guilty plea and set his sentencing hearing for June 13th. Look at this knucklehead right here, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> As part of his plea agreement, Nelson said that he wore a Colonel Blue pea coat with gold buttons, red gloves, and khaki pants. Remember I said they wore these khakis? On January 6th, had also brought with him a pink respirator and goggles. Which he later donned. Which he later donned. Look at this. Look at this. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this. He got the respirator on right there. <clears throat> Nelson also admitted that he came to D.C. prepared for the possibility of violence. <clears throat> he added that before he stormed the Capitol, he told someone that he was there to start a revolution. What does this guy think he's in? He thinks he's back in 1700s with George Washington. Y'all are some sick and twisted knuckleheads. How did Donald Trump convince you you were in a revolution? Jesus Christ. He further admitted in his plea that he attempted to body check an officer's shield as the officer was retreating from the rioters as they made their way towards the building. The officer dropped the shield, which Nelson assisted another rioter in picking up. The other rioter charged ahead now, holding the shield. He admitted in the statement, of offense the case against nelson's co-defendants co Derek daughter is pending all right they went on to say hurt him we hurt him boys that's what nelson said in a moment that a documentary videographer captured in video <laughs> nelson eventually made it close to the main entrance of the house chamber where rioters had smashed a window as officers inside the chamber drew their weapons, all right, Representative Troy Nils, a Republican of Texas, told fellow Trump supporters through the broken window that they should be ashamed and that he'd been in law enforcement in Texas for 30 years, but never had people acted this way. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we must do. This is why I call all you seditionist, treasonous traitors. Because of this kind of conduct. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving this seditionist, treasonous thug what he deserves. Another round of booze and shame! And because he's been sentenced, Mr. Conan O'Riot, let's send him off the old-fashioned way, right? He wants to be a part of a revolution. He thinks he's a soldier. Let's send him off the old-fashioned way. I'd like to begin by addressing the heinous attack on the United States Capitol. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. I immediately deployed the National Guard and federal law enforcement to secure the building and expel the intruders. America is and must always be a nation of law and order. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defiled the seat of American democracy. To those who engage in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, 
you will pay. You hear what he said, MAGA? <clears throat> you do not represent our country. Those of you who engaged in those, those heinous acts of violence. Someone asked in the comments, where was the crime? Donald Trump just told you. All of you. You don't represent this country. And get, that's why I do what I do. Remember at the top of the attack, remember at the top of the attack, he said, and we're going to go down to the Capitol and I'll be right there with you. Now, after he's gone to the White House and had a couple of Diet Cokes, maybe done something else because we know Dr. Ronnie Johnson was in there giving them all kinds of substances, right? Uppers and downers. He came out singing a different song. Oh, those individuals, they don't represent our country at all. And he also said, you will pay. This is why I have the lowest amount of respect for you Trump supporters. Whatever the lowest is, that's the amount of respect I have for MAGA, right? Because one thing I understand about you, you're not too, you're not wrapped too tight. I don't get it. How do you wake up every day and you listen to a man that paints himself orange? And he actually colors his hair orange. He calls it strawberry blonde, I guess, right? Puts a bird's nest on his head. He puts a diaper on. Puts on that crumpled blue suit with an extra long red tie. And he gets onto his social media platform and begins to give you all your next marching orders. And you do it. I have no respect for you seditionists, treasonous traitors. You don't understand you're being played like a fiddle. All the anger that you got towards the Democrats. I know what it's about. All the anger you have towards Barack Hussein Obama. It's really your anger that you have against Donald Trump. But you're too much. You're too weak. You don't have a spine to be able to look Donald Trump in his eye and say, you, sir, are responsible for my life being in shambles. You don't have the courage and conviction to do it. I can. I can say it to Biden. I can say it to Trump. But you can't do it because you're too weak. Right? <laughs> what you did to our Capitol on January 6th, MAGA, is unforgivable. Don't you dare bring up the summer of love or BLM or any of that. That had nothing to do with democracy. What you did on January 6th had everything to do with democracy. You were so possessed with the MAGA demon that you even wanted to unalive your own vice president. What kind of revolution is that? <laughs> and this is why I take great pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, in waking up every single day, sending these Trump supporters straight to hell where they belong. Because like I've been saying since I've been on this platform, the ultimate MAGA reward, ladies and gentlemen, is jail. And if you don't get your soul right, hell. And there's a chapter 11 in between. And it's promised 100% guaranteed or your money back. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's open up these boxes and hear from those of you who are brave enough to get in the box and tell the truth and shame the devil. All right, you know how this goes. You get three minutes, all right? Uh, you get three minutes. Oops, oops, look at that. You get three minutes to, you know, hopefully update us all on maybe something that I covered or maybe you have something else you want to talk about, all right? And, and, and I can't get into the weeds with these folks out here who are arguing and, you know, spreading lies and misinformation, all right? I can't get into it on the morning show because, you know, I know what it's like, <laughs> To have your mind shocked with a bunch of information like the information that I'm giving you, all right? If you feel like I'm lying about anything, just put it in the chat. If you got feedback you want to share with me about my show, if you can, DM me about it. And if you can't, that means you and I don't really have a connection anyway, so I don't really need to hear it, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's bring up our first panelist, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful April. How are you doing, April? Good morning, Zeus. I'm hey. doing great. All right, all right, all righty then. Well, that's uh, awesome. Well, well let, let's talk about the last topic that you brought up, and and it just clicked in my head about something. Hmm. Uh, the clip of Trump telling the Patriots, you know, 
that he's deployed the National Guard, you know, go home, yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. All these fake, smooth brain patriots that are out there that has blamed Nancy Pelosi, the feds, everything. Why didn't she's responsible for the National Guard? Yeah. So you're telling me that Trump deployed the National Guard, but he sat on his, uh, uh, um, you know what? Yep. For three hours with his Big Mac in one hand and his Diet <laughs> Coke in another. And he didn't do a damn thing while he watched people attack the Capitol Police. Yep. Busting out all the windows. Yep. That all along, he could have deployed the National Guard. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. What about that fake Patriots? Do, do you want to bring up Tucker's videos again? <laughs> That's such bull crap. I mean, no, it, gets it gets ridiculous because it just really clicked that he said, I've deployed the National Guard. Right. And all along, they've claimed it's Nancy Pelosi and all. But he had the power the whole time to deploy the National Guard. To yep. And he didn't do it for three hours. And he lied and said he immediately did it. Right. That's the interesting part. He yeah, said, I, it, said, it, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And they know this. What do you think about the part where he says, we're going to march down to the Capitol and I'll be right there with you. But he never went with them. Do you know of any footage where Trump put boots on the ground at the Capitol that day? Uh, where he put boots on yeah, the ground? Yeah, because he... he no, right, you know, just... <laughs> no, no, no. We, did, we didn't see anything. We, wow. We've seen, we've seen the... <laughs> We've seen, seen the memorandum by his uh, Secretary wow. of Defense, uh, Christopher Miller, telling the National Guard to stand down the day before. So yeah. who, was, who was Christopher Miller acting on? Ugh. His own feelings or Trump? Mm. So you know it, what it's I think. crazy. Yeah, yeah. All, all valid points, April. And, and, that's, and that's why it's very... It's very important we help them understand that we understand what happened that day, whether we saw it in person, you know, because I watched it on TV, or if we listen to what Donald Trump is saying. Absolutely. And, and then they're going to go by just four minute clip of people walking and, you know, the police officers undoing. Well, how many Capitol Police officers have, have been uh, charged with uh, conspiring with MAGA? How about 19? Capitol Police officers have been charged with conspiring with this movie. Oh, 19? So it's it's crazy, y'all. Wow. You see here. Yeah, and, and, and then about the, the there was no weapons. Okay. We know there was weapons. We Bingo. saw the weapon. Oh, we've seen video. I mean, there was secret reporters. They say it's Antifa and all, but there was reporters from Vice. They were reporters from everywhere, you yep. know, sneaking in to take footage of all this stuff. Yep. It's crazy. But it did, it just, I had to come on, you know, I, sometimes I don't have, I just stay in the comments. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. When it triggered, it triggered when I heard that, it just like, yeah. the whole time he said, even Trump says Nancy Pelosi was the one responsible for calling the National Guard. Right. But he told and him. He told on himself right there, didn't he? He said, "I yeah. immediately," because he always wants to take credit. Yeah, he all, yeah. He always <laughs> wants to take credit for things, right? And that's what he did that day. He took credit for deploying the National Guard, and he admitted I'm it was so him. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired, Zeus. I'm I'm just no. so tired of these people giving excuses to this piece of, you know what? I am so I'm so tired Thank of you. it. Yeah. It's it's this criminal corrupted person that he's been his whole life exactly. such contractors out of money made people suffer and yep. everybody's just bowing down oh my god the orange god i gotta do everything he says yep. it's ridiculous it really it's is old exactly and but i'm gonna keep fighting Yep. Till Please November, keep... I'm fighting like hell. Hey. I'm, I'm trying to keep the truth out there. <laughs> keep it going, April. We will never surrender to MAGA, right? That's it. Never, never, never. Because we have truth and facts. Bingo. That's it. Now, right. you have a great day. And 
Yeah. Thank you so Come much. Back April. Come back with that. Come back with that. You fake patriots about Be him deploying the National Guard. They have no defense. They have no defense, April. And right. And thank you so so much for having the courage and conviction to be able to get in the box and tell the truth. All right. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day, Zeus. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up to the beautiful April. No lies detected. Straight white male, I, I hope you're here listening and all the you seditionist, treasonous traitors, you have no answers. You have none for why Donald Trump said he's going to go to the Capitol with you and he played you. He didn't do it. He went straight to the White House. And then at the end, he told you, you don't represent this country. You have no excuses. All right. Let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, uh, Miss Tiffany, the beautiful Tiffany. How are you doing this bright and early? <laughs> Good morning, Zeus. Zeus. How are you doing? Huh? Um, I said hi, everyone. Happy hi. Thursday, Happy Friday, Thursday. Ju- Yep, Friday, Junior. Um, right. Zeus. Yes. I'm a little, I'm a little salty with you. Why? Because I keep throwing up. So the new thing for me is I throw the tomatoes in with the cars and the smoke and the trash buckets. <laughs> so I'm gonna need you to do it right now and not uh, take it off by three minutes. Oh, oh. You, gotta, you gotta tell these people what the MAGA demons sound like, babe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and you're right, you're right, Tiff. All right, listen, uh, many, many, <laughs> let me hit pause real quick. Many of you, and Tiff, you're right. I, the reason I don't like to bring Trump supporters in my, in my box <laughs> is because I know within the first two seconds, really, I yeah. can even actually, actually, it's right I, I can, right we can, yeah. right, you can hear how the person in the box is breathing, you can detect whether or not they got the MAGA demon, right? Yes. Yes, yes. you can, right? And, and, and when know. and when the person has the MAGA demon, I instantly say, this conversation isn't going anywhere. It's not. I know it. And I said, well, you know what? What does it remind me of? You ever, you ever been in a situation, you're like, this thing isn't going anywhere. It's a waste of time. And I said, you know what it's like talking to a Trump supporter? Let's hear it. It's like a car. You ever hear one of those cars and you can just tell this thing was no good? What does it sound like? Oh! Hey! Right there, hey, hey, listen. Snuggles! Straight white male, mad. All right, listen, little white pea, whatever you call yourself. Turn that thing off. It's literally, it's literally gives me life every time you do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They got to turn it off, right? Because guess what? That thing sounds like it needs the hands of God on it, right? (laughs) When was the last time that car had a tune-up, right? Spark plug, (laughs) distributor cap, rotors. What do you do when you do a tune-up, right? Put some fuel injector cleaner in it. Listen, I know, I know it has air conditioning and power (laughs) windows, but that's standard on all models, straight white male. That car sounds like it needs the hands of God placed on it, right? And just like that, right, Tiff? Oh my God! These Trump supporters, these Trump supporters, they need the hands of God placed on those MAGA minds, right? Mm-hmm. Lord, please cast that MAGA yes. demon. Exactly. Th- so thank you for that. So, You're so if my bell does ring. Give me a little bit more time since we took a little time with the. All right, all right, this, you got it. You got with it. The, with the spark plugs. Okay. <laughs> firstly, I want to come in and just say, you <laughs> dust, dusty, musty, crusty, delulu MAGA, delulu mm. as in delusional. Get him. Yeah. Okay? Listen, you don't make any sense, okay? You lie. That's you stay lying all mm-hmm. the time. Right. It's the gaslighting for me. Yeah. It's, the, it's you know it, because you, who do they who do they follow, right? Yeah. They follow the maga, the ultimate maga demon. Uh, right. And yeah. all he does is lie. Yeah. So listen, maga. Also, I want to say this: Talk you're not win- you're not winning, okay? You Pillsbury pastries. <laughs> you mayonnaise miscreants. Yeah. You're not winning, okay? What red wave, babes? I've got a larger red wave in my tampon monthly. Oh! <laughs> okay. You know, a lot of them don't know what you're talking about because they're incels. They're incels and they don't understand a woman's neck. Nope. Nope. You We're know, telling the truth. They're going to lose for a third time because technically mm-hmm. he didn't win the popular vote in 2016, right? Nope. Right? And what three things, Zeus, do you think that I'm going to name that MAGA stays doing? Mm, crime, definitely. Is okay, that one? that's one of them. Okay, I got three. Oh, they, three. Okay, here goes. They lie, they're really good at losing, and they stay breaking the law and committing crime. Bingo! Get out, everybody! And like, MAGA, you really, the biggest gaslight, right? And yep. they're sitting here telling us, that the January 6th insurrection <laughs> oh was a God. peaceful protest and a tour 
Where were you? Did you see what I saw? Because I saw what you saw, right? Yep, I sure did. A bunch of crimes being committed by a bunch of Confederate soldiers, 2020 edition. You know, and they're always, and it's crazy. Like, they're always yip yapping about Biden and his age. And how many years older is Biden than Trump? Oh, wait, three? Yeah. <laughs> what did Hillary say? They are effectively the same age. Right. And Hillary's always been right, right? Right. Yeah. And, like, you sitting here supporting Mango Mussolini. Mm. And your boy is Dementia Donnie. Yeah. I've never <laughs> seen it. You hear him pooping in his diaper during speeches. Trump right. is losing it. He's losing it. I mean, again, we're not going to be ageist. We understand there has to be a lot of changes in our democracy, right? Yep, we do. But we also understand what's on the line. Period. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's why we're doing the work that we're doing, which is getting out here and, and, and telling the truth and shaming the devil, right? Exactly. And, so, and Southern Delight said something just before I got up that when the uh, insurrection was happening, she wanted the same energy for the BLM protests, which is oh. so factual. And it's and yeah. she's like, Sorry, I'm not trying to speak for Southern, but and uh, exactly like where was that energy? Where was that energy on January 6th? Yeah, yeah, MAGA. Where was it? Where was it? Because they showed up with tear gas and and uh, all the militarized forces for the BLM protest, but that energy was not there. Yeah, for yeah, the yeah. So I'll land there. Oh, Zeus. And yes. I see that you're in your backup page. I just got restored too, because you know who loves to stay reporting. If you don't like it here, you can leave like you say, Zeus. Yep. Stop reporting, MAGA. I know you can it. Just move it along and stop yeah. trying to take down our content because we're telling the truth. Yep. If you fragile ass. <laughs> go ahead and, go ahead and lay fragile, into him today. You fragile, MAGA, gracious, mm. XYs, you mm. men. If you don't like what we're talking about, move it along and keep it pushing. Stop reporting. Bingo. Bingo. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I love y'all. Love the kingdom. Love you, Zeus. Love you, too. All Thank right. You, All right. Me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it <laughs> up to the this. beautiful Tiffany for the people. No lies. It's a show of forces bright and early. Listen, where did my comments go? Hold on. Let me relaunch. Yes, yeah, sorry about launch it. All right, uh, you know sometimes, sometimes when you when you're cooking up these when you cook these maga minds like this, ladies and gentlemen, it, the the comments disappear. That's when I know. That's when I know I'm off the rails, right? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Morning. Who do we have here? Oh, Operation Exposed decided. They decided they did not want to come up. All right, fair enough. I try to rotate and make it a little different, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, people I don't normally get to hear from all the time. Patrice, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. How are you doing, Patrice? I'm fine. All right, all right, all right. Well, what brings I'm gonna you to I'm going to make it uh, short. I might not even use the whole th uh, three minutes, but I, I just think this is important. Talk to him. After what we saw this past week, with the courts yeah of course we can't expect them to save us nope we, can't. we the people are gonna have to save ourselves and that's through the votes because amen if republicans get in there we won't have that vote nope so we have to go like we have to storm the like they storm the uh, capital we have to storm the storm the polls yeah storm the polls we have to we have to save ourselves yeah the polls not gonna do it for us Nope, you're spot on, Patrice, spot on. And that's why we got to get out here and make sure every voter is as informed as possible before they go out and cast their votes, all right? Because if you leave it up to the media, all right? And this is this is some media, most media outlets, they're, they're not providing it at the level where, you know, we're doing it, right? We're, we're mm -hmm. highlighting the dangers of Donald J. Trump, right? Reminding the American people on a daily basis, just how disgusting and evil and vile MAGA really is, right? I know we have. I, I, I'm I'm convinced we have more of us saying people than the MAGA people. Yep. If we yep. go out and go exercise our vote, we win. Yep. Yep. Spot on. Spot on, Patrice. All right. Well, listen. Well, I appreciate that. All right. And, and, you're welcome. Thanks. All right. And thank you so so much, Patrice. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. let's give the beautiful Patrice a, a, a round of applause. Yeah.
for a second, ladies and gentlemen, um, for a second, I wasn't going to get up here and do this, you know, some, day, some days, you know, when you do these live, ladies and gentlemen, some days you, you go, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and skip it. But then, you know, I said, it's important. What we're doing is very important. We're building a community and we're making sure folks out here that have the ability can get out here and really connect with folks all across this country. Because I, I, I do, I do. I do understand how the court of public opinion works. And then I also understand how real courtrooms work, right? And how real life plays out. And I understand we got a lot of delusional folks out here, especially when it comes to MAGA that just aren't processing what's happening around them. They don't understand that they're suffering because of Donald Trump, right? All of you Trump supporters crying about gas prices, eggs. I drilled down into your, your finances. You're sending Donald Trump your money, right? That's why you don't got any money to take care of your family. Your health is deteriorating. Well, that's because you've allowed that evil MAGA demon spirit inside of you, and it's rotting you. It's rotting you from the core out, right? This is what happens, all right? And so you needed someone like me and my friends to get out here and remind you how you got to that position and, and to pull you out of that, right? And that's what we came here to do, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring up our next panelist. Good morning. Uh, who do we have? Dark Truth. Welcome, Dark Truth. What do you What's got up? for How us? How you doing, Brother Zeus? How you doing this morning? Uh, I'm all right. Thank you, Tony. Shout out to Tony. Uh, um, so I, 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 I saw RTP last night, right? Oh. Destroy M.O.D. Oh. She went, and I went on her live this morning, and I told her, you're crying because you got slayed. She oh. slayed the dragon. Mm. And, and it was facts over feelings. So I'm willing to put that wager and put this platform up, up on the line to delete. I'm, I'm that dead serious with this what is because it? I'm so tired of the lies, the deceit, mm. that them going around spewing out garbage. It's to me, it's facts over feelings. Yep. So I'm willing to debate anyone, say it on this platform, any mega content creator, anyone. I don't care how big, how small. Oh. I, and I will pick the moderator. The moderator will give us equal amounts of time on our PT chat. Oh, and this guy with a smaller platform will slay anyone because I have facts to evidence to back up what I'm going to say. Oh, so if anyone you put the word out, Zeus, yeah, put the no. word out that kid <laughs> yeah. truth is not playing anymore. Uh, it's facts over feelings. Any Trump supporters in the audience it's right anyone. now, let's get them right care. now. You, you. <laughs> You're willing to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let them, let them suck. I, the I want them, I want them to know that one by one, I'm going to make sure that you guys get taken down. This is, this is, this is because it, it, it has to end. Mm. The lies, yeah. the seats have to end. So I'm saying in here right now, anyone. They're scared. The They're scared of you, dark truth. They're no, no, scared I don't, of I don't, you. No, 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 no. They don't need to be scared. You have <laughs> to bring receipts and facts to back up everything you said. Snuggles, would you would you would you debate Snuggles? I I will debate Snuggles. <laughs> I will debate him. Snuggles, <clears throat> raise your hand, Snuggles. All right, let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. And then if you lose, delete the account. You two, J Bear, Stacy Bear, all you Russian bears. In any anyone, I'm 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 serious. I would say Mod, but I I think no she Mod already got slayed <laughs> yeah. last night by uh. I don't need to touch her because she's crying on her platform right now. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm just waiting, you know, just to give her some tissue or you something. You can't win a – listen, you can't win a debate if the facts aren't on your side. I don't think she knew that. I really don't. Well, no, she buried herself because she cried at her moderator when he fact-checked something. Mm. And that's that's where it went down to, and she's crying at her, at her boy that she picked. Yeah. So what I'm saying is I I I, I only need a whole three minutes to say well I'm I'm saying that put the word out. Yeah. Put well, the words I, out. I, I'm, I'm 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 dead serious. It it's game is over. Yeah. yeah. All yes. right. Yes. So put the word out. From, yeah. It, what, what, it's out there. It's out there. Everyone here heard it. Uh, Kid Truth. It's no, out I'm there. serious. Like no, I I I'm I am I am dead serious. Like yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna coddle. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. I, you you can pick. You can pick them up, you know what, and we can decide, hey, who can be the moderator, and they have to be a civil moderator. Bingo, bingo. Well, I'm with it, all right? Conservative Democrat, you can do it. Get your get your uh, other account, uh, Retribution, one of you. But 
Let's let's just play, play times over, man. I need to run. I need to get my daughter, but I'm I'm, right. I'm dead serious about it. Bring it, bring it on, Mega, and then you know you let Zeus know, and I'll hey, we'll make it happen. I'm serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Well, listen, Dark Truth. Thank you so much, my brother. All right. Uh, straight white male. Let me say something to you, straight white male. I reject. Listen to me. Thank you, Zena. I reject your invitations to meet with me. I don't swing that way, champ. All right, so stop inviting me to come hang out with you. I don't want to get in any pickup truck you got. All right, we don't know each other like that, bro. All right, have some decorum and really take the time to do some self-reflect and introspection. Thank you, Annie. It has nothing to do with what you're accusing me of being, all right? Ain't nobody scared of you. You ain't nothing but a seditionist, treasonous traitor. Do me a favor, straight white male. Won't you just report yourself to the FBI? Seriously. All right. Let's bring up our next panelist. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. My good friend, Dark Bamba. Are you there, Bamba? Oh, I tried to bring you up, but I guess it's no longer available. I know... All right. Well, let's bring up our next panelist. All right. Good morning, Shay. How are you doing? Good morning. All right. How's everybody doing? We're doing all right. It's quite the show. It's quite the show. And mm. uh, yes, yes, yes. Kid Puth was very true about the whole debate with RTP and MOD. And it was she. Oh, my God. He slayed her. And what's so crazy is, is. The thing that we have to recognize this, no Republican can literally debate and defend Donald Trump. If you, if you show up for a debate and you try to defend Donald Trump, you will lose in a debate. You're starting off on a back foot. You have no facts. And there's so much proof out there that he's done all these things. And so that's what happened. And she got angry because she had picked her, she had picked her moderator a good friend of hers, Jesse. Yeah. And he fact checked her three times during the debate. And he said, and she goes, Well, you're not fact checking RTP. He goes, I've been fact checking RTP and he hasn't been wrong yet. Oh my God. She lost it. Like, oh. So that's what set her off. And now she's claiming that he wasn't supposed to be fact checking her. <laughs> They're no longer friends. But but this is what happens when you deal with a narcissist, right? <laughs> she can't. I am literally celebrating. If you could see inside yeah. of me, Shay, I am literally celebrating this. All right, this oh, is the beginning too. of the end for Maga. They knew this day was coming. Yeah. I don't know why she did it to herself, but please continue. Well, no, it's so true. She did do it to herself every time. Like she was always, oh, come on, debate me right now, Shay. I'm like, why would I debate you? Because all you're gonna do is gaslight ad hominem attack to whatever features of me you want to pick out and then you're going to be proven wrong and you're going to try to turn it on me and then when that doesn't work you're just going to start screaming oh why would i waste my time you don't debate you don't know how to debate like oh my god oh, this is like, have you read the indictments i'm like yes and she goes well have you read this case and this law case and this law case i'm like oh. why i do that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You can pretend to be an attorney all you want on this app, but I don't need to read law cases. I read the indictment. I'm not Jack Smith, for fuck's sake. Please. Tell him, Shay. Oh, I got you. I got you, Shay. I got you. Don't, I got you, Shay. Got to keep it clean, but let's but, go. And yes. This, this is what I, the whole thing, that, that debate was just so glorious because that's what I got out of it is like, why do y'all try to defend Donald Trump? Yeah. It, you're, you, you can't, and you know you can't. Mm -mm. It's like listening to Bill Clinton define the word is. Right? Yeah. It's exactly what it is. It's like, I have nothing, so I'm just going. And the whole thing, he, it, that she was sitting there, well, you said this, and R2P's like, I didn't say that. Then her moderator's like, he didn't say that, Mod. Yes, he did say that. No, he didn't. And the whole chat's wow. like, not going, he didn't say that. He didn't say wow. that. That's what she does. Wow. She makes up stuff just like Donald Trump does, you know, and just says, oh, and just makes up. So that's what they do, do when they debate. They derail, mm. right? Yeah. So they, she probably thinks it was rigged, right? Oh, 100%. She's crying. <laughs> it was rigged. It's not, it was on his Oh, own. daddy. She can say, yeah, that cracks me up. Yeah, mm. it wasn't supposed to be on his platform. <laughs> 
And then the moderator wasn't supposed to fact check me. Right. I got over <laughs> And then there were racist comments and people were insulting me. Oh. And I was just, I was like, oh. <laughs> you sit there. Like, if you go into her live and says no crying aloud or something stupid. I'm like, girl, you up here crying the whole time. I'm like, mm, mm, like, and then, mm, mm. oh, and then RTP came up there. Yeah. And he was basically, got art, he was basically, Maud, you need to grow up. Like, seriously, you yeah. need to grow up. That's not what happened. And everybody can go watch it, by the way, on RTP's talk, mm. RTP talk oh. on YouTube. Mm. So oh, you can go mm. watch the whole okay. thing down right. on YouTube. But anyway. Thank you, Shay. I, I thought it was glorious, and I just sit here and go, keep trying to defend the guy. Keep trying to act like you're debating, because you can't. Mm, you can't thank you. And defend him. It just Th doesn't work in your favor. <laughs> All right. Well, this is Shay. Thank you so much for that summary of yeah. Slaying of the Dragon by RTP. I really do appreciate it. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. If you go in there, guys, she's just going to mute and block you. So just. All right. Well, just... well, consider it a great badge of courage <laughs> yes, if they exactly. if they mute and block you. All right. All right. <laughs> all right Thank guys. you so much, Love Shay. Ladies and all gentlemen, right. let's give the beautiful Shay a round of applause. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and, and again, uh, why did she do it to herself? So, so I don't want to, I don't want to ever run it, be in the same space with, with a sheep like that. Right. And I don't want to be in the same space with a puppet like that, who still, even in the face of losing subscribes to the MAGA ideology that because I lost somehow the system was rigged. It's not rigged mother of nastiness. God's talking to you. The good Lord is trying to send you a message, all right? You've hardened up your heart way too long and now you're being exposed for what you are, which is a liar, a grifter, and a seriously misinformed MAGA demon. All of which things I knew you were, all right? It is really time for you and your legion of demons that you run with. It is really time for all of you to repent. Get down on your knees, mother of nastiness, and truly repent. Don't get on this TikTok and start blocking people. No, keep the same energy. Leave, leave the gates open. Deal with it. All right, you just, you just might come out a better person. I believe you can get there, MOD. I really do. But your pride, you got to let go of that pride. And I know it's hard to do because I've been where you're at, M.O.D. I have. And I, and I thought no one, everyone's wrong except me. But you know what? There's light at the end of the tunnel for you, M.O.D. But you truly, you got to repent and really mean it. And if that means cutting off Jay Bear, cutting off Snuggles, cutting off conservative Lynn, cutting them all off to be right with Jesus, then you need to do it. Right, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Your soul is on the line. Your soul's on the line, M.O.D. Now, what you just experienced, this is in the physical. But what's going to happen when it gets spiritual, right? And you really got to meet your maker. Do you really want the good Lord to catch you on TikTok worshiping Satan? Shame on you. <laughs> I got Oh my gosh, I'm in so much trouble. All right, good morning, uh, Takesha. How are you? Hey, <laughs> Zeus. I'm uh, all right. How are you? I see you, boss lady. Oh, good. Boss How you lady. doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, Is just Jimmy here today? Jimmy. Oh, I haven't seen uh, it, our good. What? You scared Jimmy, him. Jimmy, are you here? Mm, Jimmy? Jimmy. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Is he not here, soon? <laughs> I can't see you. I can't see you. Oh, oh Miss Silk said he's here. Miss Silk said he's here. Where are okay. you, Jimmy? Jimmy, Jimmy come I on want out. Something for you, mm. Jimmy. Because I know Jimmy's a patriot, right? <laughs> yeah. I made him a song, Zeus, oh, mm. and I want you to hear it mm. in the tone that it, you know, in in the music that I wrote it in. Oh, did you, you hit all the high notes? And are, are you ready, Zeus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sending. I'm, I'm sending. Aaron, let me get it. Together. I'm sending Jimmy. I just sent him an invite. So let's see if he. I just sent Jimmy an invite. Jimmy, brother. Uh, Jimmy, come on upstairs. You can get out of the basement. Mom's got some breakfast on the table for us. Come I on, get something it. Something for you, my Jimmy. <laughs> you ready, Zeus? This show is off the rails. Let's go. Okay, Zeus. Now pay attention.
<laughs> Gotta get my voice together. Jesus I sung, Christ. I hadn't What's... sung in a long time, but this is for Jimmy. <laughs> oh, say can you see my good friend Jimmy has mush for a brain. Can't tell sleep from the rain. Mm. Trying to hide his pouch as he sits on his couch, dreaming about the rump mm. of his master, Mr. Trump. Mm. And Jimmy can play in the traffic all day <laughs> and no one would care cause he's shaped like a pen oh. oh say does that jimmy no <laughs> he now messed up oh. Coming for Kiki, we'll get your chicken plug. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. Oh, hey, you did. Hey. Was that not patriotic? I am. Listen, Was I. That not patriotic, Jimmy. <laughs> Well, well, well. I love Jimmy. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I love Jimmy. Oh, my God. Jimmy, I got one more day. <sighs> Tomorrow is going to be a <laughs> One more day, Jimmy. Did you remix the Star Spangled Banner? Jimmy, <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> is going to be a showstopper. I love you, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, I can't with you, Dickie. Yeah. Yeah, Jimmy, come for me. Keep coming. Jesus. I'll add another week on uh, you. Listen. <laughs> yeah, I love Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Takesha. Oh, my God. I feel like, I feel like I'm playing ball on the, in the gym with you in the box, Takesha. Seriously. Jimmy's my uh, friend. <laughs> I love Jimmy. Woo! So tomorrow, Zeus, I'll be back with another okay. special. Okay. 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 I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to actually tone it down a little bit, Takesha, right? Because he's right can't. there. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Je because Zeus, I wasn't bothering Jimmy. Right. I have never said anything to Jimmy. Right. But Jimmy started with Kiki. So now Kiki's got to <laughs> make sure Jimmy knows not to call Kiki out. <laughs> so tomorrow. Wow. Is the finale. Okay, okay. I'm here for it. I'm here and for it. And me too. And you right. be here too, Jimmy. <laughs> All right, sweetie. All right, Takesha. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Takesha. Okay. Jimmy, just for the record, Jimmy, uh, your chicken has been officially plucked by Kiki. All right. And, and you did it to yourself. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Takesha, I, I really, I really, <laughs> because you did something to the Star Spangled Banner to my mind when you did that, Takesha. I, I don't know. That's why I said you might need to calm it down, all right? Now, I'm used to being the one pushing the boundaries in this show, but what you did right there, Takesha, that was something special. I don't know how you did it, but you hit all the right notes, all the melodies in the right points, and the lyrics, they were just as great. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, let's give Takesha another round of applause. <laughs> That, that that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is as authentic as it can be. All right. Good morning, my good friend, Miss Boss Diva. Right? Uh, How <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, Takesha is your friend to the end. I know. Right. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. This hey, go ahead and add another week to that, Jimmy. You know what I mean? We love that. Oh my God! You know, Zeus. I was wondering yeah. if if you um like really paid any type of attention 
maybe some attention to, uh, you know, the elections here in Cali, right? Uh, somewhat, somewhat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know that Katie Porter, you know, yeah. made a statement that um, people didn't like. <laughs> she said that the election was rigged. Oh, right? she did, because she lost the shift? Yeah, she was, you know, then she tried, you know, to walk it back with a statement today, you know, saying that rig means manipulated by dishonest means. Oh. Uh, billionaires spent 10 million on attacking ads. Wow. Against them, you know, a false she said, independent. She said all of this? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yeah, mm, she's, so she's uh, and so really a lot of lots of folks are disappointed, you know, because she didn't make it over the finish line. So. They feel like she was salty, you know? Yeah, yeah, but that's a sign of maganess, right? So that means to me, she could have been one of these people. If this is true, right? I'm assuming it is. That's, that's like somebody pretending to be a Democrat just so they can get in position and then they flip and become a Republican. That's what that makes me think. Well, I hope that's not the case with Katie Porter now because, you know, we're talking about, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, you don't put nothing past anyone, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever they're capable of, just know that they're capable of that and much more right uh, yeah but yeah. she was just saying that she she was saying that what she meant was she said that she, it was rigged by billionaires and the politics you know our politics are in fact manipulated yeah. by dark money right yeah so she tried to you know but that's still too close away. for comfort that's still too close for comfort i mean say that then say the demo say you were out you know beat financially you know you got he got more supporting behind him but when you get on that same frequency as maga it just it just to me she should have if that's really what it was i wish she would have been way more cautious about making statements that align with maga what is this <laughs> <laughs> and actually it was supposed to fit but it's the uh your name here no. Right? So I don't know if it's Eugene or if it's New York something or another or whatever, right? right. <laughs> and then there is the debt clock, the fraud debt clock that's yeah. actually up there with the how many shoes that he has to 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 sell <laughs> in, in order to um um dang these pictures are not they're not yes. sized right the way I wanted uh -oh. them, but uh -oh. anyway. So, so you know that um, this is his latest grift now. Really? He's selling. He's selling. Uh, never sur surrender gold cards. He never stops. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a. Is there? Is there a Visa logo or American Express? No, I mean, no, what, no. What can I use no. that card? No, 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 no. Where can I so, use that thing at? Can I, can I, can I, can I swipe it anywhere? Because you know what? We like to swipe those things where we're from, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> but I just wanted to trigger oh, MAGA for a second. You know bro. what? Because we, we gave the best of us to this country. Amen. God for bless eight Barack years. Obama, right? God okay. And then you brother. guys went from sugar to poo poo. Ooh. <laughs> Tell them. From sugar to poo poo. Bingo. Okay. They did. So I just wanted y'all, I just want to give you a friendly reminder of what the best of us looks like. Amen. Amen. And it happens to have brown skin, mm. you know, of the Amen. African descent. Amen. I just right. wanted to make sure I reminded folks of that. Yeah. yeah. And then there was one other thing that I want, I hope the doggone picture. Is size go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and serve. Go ahead and serve it up to these uh, these treasonous traitors. And this <laughs> is where he gonna end up at. <laughs> Introducing the new Trump Tower, people. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, I you can never, you would have never imagined it in our <laughs> lifetime. We would see Donald Trump go from where he was to that, right? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna end up being you know you know that movie Trading Places with yes, Eddie yes. Murphy and uh, yes, doesn't that bring you to you know bring that yeah. to mind? We're yep. you know the tables will definitely turn and how it's going to be an African American person that is going to make sure he's accountable for some, yep. if not all, all of those ninety one felonies. Yeah. Okay? Yep. So we're looking at 34 and what? Uh, New let's York. Check my watch. Yeah, uh, New York, Alvin Bragg. 18 days. Yep. So, you know, yeah. 
I am. And we got him. And we got him dead to rights with the with the Alvin Bragg case. We got him dead to rights. It's over. Oh dead. yeah, absolutely got him dead to rights. And there's nothing that he could do to to uh, wiggle out of that. Nope. Nope. I don't care what kind of attorney he got. He can have a gold spray spray painted attorney. You know what I mean? That's, that's, yeah. I don't know. It's supposed to be some big shot. It wouldn't even matter. It really nope. wouldn't because all of the documentation points to election interference. interference. Bingo. And the checks all add up, Snuggles. All 11, all 11 checks, nine of them Donald Trump signed. When you add it all up, it adds to the payments that he made. So there's no wiggle room. When the math is right, there's no wiggle room. It's over. All right. Thank you, Stacey. All right. mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean... I mean, how many people do we know that's went to, uh, like Shaquan was saying in the comments, how many people that we know personally that had one felony yeah. and did like 20 years, you know what I mean? So yeah. you figure 91 felonies, there is some accountability in somewhere in them charges. Absolutely. It really is. And it seems, it seems to me like, you know, the minimum we're looking at is five years, right? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. All the way up to 20 years, right? Bingo. Yeah. So somewhere along that line, he will find himself in with uh, Big Bubba D. You Absolutely. know, he Absolutely. definitely, he definitely belongs in prison. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the truth. Mm. Mm -mm. Absolutely. He will be there. He Positively. Will be He's definitely going to prison, and, and, and he will not be getting out anytime soon once he gets there, right? Yeah, he gonna, he gonna check out in prison. <laughs> well, you know what? If God says so, and then, let it be. Those are not, li <laughs> those are not lies, uh, Mark. Sorry. Yeah, right. sorry. Yeah, sorry, yeah. There's, no, there's no lies detected in this live. Now, you might go over to MOD live and find a bunch of lies over there. But yep. over here, there's there's no lies detected ever. And if there is a lie, we're gonna quickly debunk it. Bingo. Quickly. Bingo. Okay. All now, right. Thank you so much for having me up, Zeus. Uh, you know I love you very much. All right, love and you too. I will see you out in these TikTok streets, baby. All righty thank then. You. All righty then, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Miss Boss Diva. <laughs> no lies detected. Listen, I know it's scary for a lot of you Trump supporters to see and hear all of this. But I want you to get ready and prepare so you're not shocked when it actually happens. Donald Trump will be sentenced, he will be convicted, and he will be sentenced faster than your head can spin, whether you like it or not. And this is going to happen before November. I guarantee you when the American people witness what happened in this first trial in New York, it's going to send shock waves, right? Because Michael Cohen's going in there, Stormy Daniels going in there, and wait until you hear what Stormy Daniels and him did behind Melania's back. You're gonna, it's over. That's why he's slurring his words right now. That's why he's he's running out of money right now, begging the courts to not make him pay what he owes. No, 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 conservative Democrat, go look at the facts. Go look at the facts. All right. Uh, good morning, Brother Lex. How are you doing, my good friend? Lex, are you there? Yeah, I'm exhausted. Oh, my gosh. Why are you exhausted? Well, last night, uh, uh, Bill Summers, this musician, he's uh, he's done a bunch of stuff with Michael Jackson and Quincy Jones. Okay. Okay, I'm listening. He calls me last night, and he asked me to do a... Uh, uh, see, I worked in... Um, black country music in the 90s i did pre-production on broken wing for martina mcbride and okay. uh and then uh, we got in this big discussion about uh how everybody's mad at beyonce for releasing the country record right i've heard and, about that yeah and what people don't understand is is we invented country music oh but the banjo is african it's an african instrument yeah talk to him see i didn't know that so uh uh so I, I did a song about 13 years ago, and uh, and I accidentally emailed it to him, and he went nuts over it. So I've been up all night 
recutting the vocals on it. And my brother, oh my, my brother's actually right here. We're getting ready to finish it. Oh my! Well, listen, man, you go over there cooking and burning at the same time. I love it. All right. But yeah, they're they're uh, the thing is, is uh, why why are they getting triggered by everything? You know, Taylor Swift. See, she's a nightmare for them. Mm. Yeah, because <laughs> because of what they what she represents, right? You know what it is. People. You know what? <clears throat> you got three minutes and thirteen seconds. I'll finish this song right in front of y'all. Go ahead, go ahead and do it. All right, go ahead. Let's do it. Do we want to hear this, ladies and gentlemen? Do we want to hear it? Hey, can you? Are you ready? Okay, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, okay. Let's go. <laughs> in that heat right there all right Yeah, I pre-cut that chorus last night. That was good. That was good. 
It was the audio just a little off, but you know, I I caught the gist of what was going on. It really sounds good. You made you made all of that over there. Yeah, I cut the cut the chorus. Uh, I, I I recorded it before, but I recut the chorus last night, and then I was just finishing the lead today. Yeah. Which I, so what you heard is going to go on the recording because I didn't screw it up. Oh okay. Oh wow. And, oh wow. Uh, um. Yeah, and my brother, I love it. My brother is. When when, when does it when does it come out? Um, I'm probably they're on me to they want me to shoot a video. Oh wow! Well, listen. You so gotta, now I can go dig in the attic or the closet and find my uh, cowboy hat that I used to wear when I used to go hunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, they got people that are gonna shoot the video and and do a bunch of crap like it. I got um, uh, uh, hold on a second. Yes, 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 yes. Because I don't want to check, check. I, don't now, I can to... hear you. I can hear you now. We got to move it along now because Zeus got some Okay, okay. I don't, I don't want that thing to feed back while I was talking. Oh, okay, okay. If you stop recording on the microphone, you know if it starts and I got that speaker right behind me, it'll go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't You can't do all of that. All right. But yeah, somebody said I was lip syncing in the. Uh, uh, no, don't listen to these. These are, these are haters. No, wait, wait, wait. Listen, listen, listen. You guys can't handle that black people do have been doing doing this type of music for a hundred years because it came from blues and blues and bluegrass started as uh, the africans brought their rhythms and their banjos and things over here <laughs> and they started doing things with while they were here which turned into jazz yeah. turned into rock and roll it turned into uh Turn it. Yep. You know, and then it, it, it went to hip hop. Absolutely. And every music that you hear today. They know it. But see, they, they can't handle that black people did it. Bingo. Bingo. So, but yeah, um, I'm not going to hold you up forever. All right. I'm take a shower. All right, brother. We'll keep up the good work. I'm going to bed. All and right. Get, get to work on that music I sent you. I, I've oh, got I did. I did. I did. I did. I'm going to send it to you probably this weekend. All right. You know, I got to, you know, go through it a couple of times and get it just right. All right. But I sure, will. Damn, be... I'm, I'm wore out, man. Whew. All right. All right. Well, listen, and brother, thank you so too, much. You can tell by the way I talk. I sound like a hay bale. Ah, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Brother Lex. <laughs> no lies detected. Thank you for the music, brother. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? Well, uh, I got to get up out of here, ladies and gentlemen, but because the, the plane has officially landed, all right? What an incredible show. Uh, I would say you got we got a lot of talented people in our community, and it's, it's a pleasure to always be able to, you know, connect with people, not just with the politics, but, you know, with the talents they got, right? So uh, let's give everyone a round of applause. <laughs> Amazing. Another, listen. To all the panelists that came up here today that had the courage and conviction to be able to get up here and, and really speak and entertain and help get the message out, you deserve a, a round of applause. All right. To all of you in the, in the audience, right, who come in daily and, and check on us, right, I appreciate it. You all deserve a round of applause. To all the moderators, my gifters. My subscribers, you don't have to do this, but you do it anyway because you really love this country. I really believe you do. You deserve a round of applause. All right, and listen, one last round of booze and shame. You know what we got to do. To the Zeus haters, right? To all of our haters, our critics, and our detractors, those who continue to dwell in lies and misinformation, who choose to do the work of the devil, not the good Lord, right? These folks are working on behalf of Vladimir Putin and the Kremlin to spread disinformation and misinformation to destroy our democracy, all right? And let's give it to her, especially to Mother of Nastiness, who showed her nasty you-know-what yesterday when RTP took her to task. All right, let's give them all what they finally deserve. Our final round of booze and shame. Silence. You never demon. All of you fake TikTok lawyers.
you fake TikTok host, do me a huge favor. Delete the app. It's over. Two moments, the most handsome in the kingdom. And I really am the most handsome. <laughs> no lies detected. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Brother Lex attacking. See ya. Cali Love. Rio. DJ Kitty. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Don't be playing with my mood when I'm moving like love you too, Ariel. Yes. See ya. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Levi. Click his Rick. Linda. Swerve. Lady Rima. Heaven. See ya. All right. Cena Smith. Queen Flea. Vegas girl. I see ya, Lady Rima. Let's go. This is Silk Little Hawk. Thank you. Apple user. So nice to see ya. Sorry, I had to leave early. Mr. Octane. Let's go. Tiffany for the people. Marisol. Have a good one. Uh, cut it out, Mark. You're still a liar. Conservative Democrat, you're still a liar. Skuggles, you're still a liar. I am Nina. Let's go. All right. Let's go. That's why they call me Zeus. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. James Slammin, I saw you, brother. This is how I stare. Stacy. Shout out to Stacy. Look at Rick, my brother. All right, Gen X, Shadow King, TikTok Rocker. All right, all right. Have a great rest of your morning, ladies and gentlemen. Vicky P, Miss Silk, I see you. Don't do nothing that I wouldn't do out there, Mary Francisco. If you play around with love, then you're guaranteed to lose. I didn't make the game a rule, so don't play me like a fool. Keisha, stay safe out there. My girl. And Miss Austin, let's go. Let loose with the truth. Yeah, grab your goose. Hey, little mama, let me play with your caboose. I know the ladies love me because I'm sweet like a tooth. Hey, <laughs> hey, no, the gods be such a dude. Trash bait, that's for you. Trash bait. You you really like you really boots. are such a thief. Yeah, All right. That they choose. You, you know, know I'm so, so handsome. Rio, let's go. This is how I move when I'm walking like Zeus. I really this mean that you fake TikTok hoax, you fake lawyers. Not another live on TikTok. Stay out of the guest box. All right, don't go into no more lives. I want to debate Zeus. No. Don't lick your wounds. Seriously, it's disgusting what you do on this app. <laughs> All right. Right here. Uh, Mark Brown. You're not listening, Mark Brown. <laughs> All right, Red Jay. Are you ready for the remix, Tiffany? You ready for the remix? Let's go, Red Jay. the show on let's go they started just recently with this crap they started just recently they could have brought this lawsuit brenna three years brenna. ago right after i left it's been three years but they didn't do that and now they're saying we have to go immediately before the supreme court this thing would have all been over with two years ago oh but they waited and anyway. waited and waited and then they saw i was running and they waited and then they saw i was hot they thought he was hot and they filed lawsuits these are very dishonest people. That's called election interference. These are very, and now they're fighting like hell because they want to try and get a guilty plea from the Supreme Court of the United States, which I can't imagine because you have presidential immunity. Oh. But strange things happen, but they want to get that because that's the only way they're going to win the election. <laughs> it's a very sick thing. But think of it, they waited and waited and waited. For years. Years. Nobody thought, everyone would say they're never going to bring any charges. They're never, most people said they're not going to bring them because they don't have anything. <laughs> and then all of a 
of a sudden we started getting hit with these lawsuits. And in fact, and you know, now they're saying, let's run. You know he guilty. When you talk like that, nothing says guilty more than that. They waited and they waited. They saw it was hot. Trump, you're guilty. Deal with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to get up out of here. But you know what we got to do? We got to drop the bomb. Do you have a problem figuring out what you're for me or Trump? And you ain't black. He's dead right. You ain't black. He ain't nothing but a modern day slave.